and welcome to another video. So I'm here today with a flip through of my May setup for my reading journal. So this was originally going to be a setup video, but I got so frustrated making the cover page. It took me like hours, way, way longer than I expected it to. And by the time I finished it, I was like, no, I'm done. I can't film this. I'm just going to finish it and then do a flip through. So that's what we're here to do today. This is my reading journal. It started as an art journal for like random doodles and I I started doing more reading journaling and then just kind of made it a full reading journal. It is the like Night Forest cover from Archer and Olive and I really really like it. It has a linen cover with this glitter and it's not going to last me past June. See? It's getting pretty chunky and I'm running out of pages. So this will only cover from March through June because March is when I started reading journaling and then I'll have a new notebook for July which will be exciting let's see all right so this is May I used a combination of these dinosaur dreamland stickers from planning with K and these kind of uh, galaxy themed washi stickers that I got from Amazon. And this is the page that took me decades. So I used acrylograph pens for the background and I, I'm pretty sure that I did not activate them properly. So it was very, very frustrating. I didn't realize exactly how much I had to shake, like what I was really looking for. And so I struggled with these pages a lot since then. I've had a bit more success using the acrylographs here and there. I'm still pretty optimistic about them and will continue to try them out. But I was about to burn my whole journal trying to do these background. I could not. So throughout the rest of this setup, you'll see a slightly different color palette. Still a light pink, blue, and purple, but different because I switched to Crayola Super Tips. This cover page is inspired by um, planning with Kay's cover page from her April setup. She did the same white border, a quote page, and a month page, and I just changed the background. She did a, a watercolor splash, and I didn't want to mess with watercolors, so I used these acrylographs to make this like abstract swirly background thing. Then over here on this page, I used the sticker of this boy sitting and staring out at like a field because it was kind of whimsical, like its dinosaur suddenly appeared or something like that and i thought this quote was funny it's kind of ironic it says quotation is a serviceable substitute for wit and it is from the time traveler survival guide by ryan north and i thought that was funny where he talks about how to figure out what time period you're in and one of the time periods he considers is whether there are dinosaurs around so that's why i picked that quote and then i just thought this one was amusing then over here i just wrote may 2021 i got pretty experimental with the lettering style and overall i kind of like it and then i just added some stickers for decoration here we've got i forgot i put these sticky notes so here i've got a space for my tbr and the sticky notes are just what i think will be my tbr i have not written it in yet it's still a little too early in april for me to know exactly what i will have finished by the end of the month As you can see, I've got space for six books that I might read and I deviate from this a lot, but it gives me an idea of where I'm headed. So I like that. And then I built this little scene of a dinosaur sleeping next to this planet. This large calendar is a Patreon printable that I got from Planning with Kate and I really like it. So I used it and I added that sticker and this sticker and I use this to keep track of any read-alongs or read-a-thons that are happening that I want to be aware of, like Queen of Shadows, there's a romance one, and a Throne of Glass one happening in May, so I want to keep track of those. I am off schedule, so I probably won't re be reading exactly these things, but just in case I catch up, I know when this is happening. Big events, so my sister's graduating on the 15th, and I'll be traveling, so I put that in here because it probably means I won't get to read a ton. And my birthday, just because I'm excited about it. Also in here, I put the day that I finish a book. So 
in my April calendar and this is something I just started doing. This is what it looks like. So, so far I have finished Chain of Iron, This Golden Flame, and To Steal a Heart. Of those, only two were on my TBR and I'm kind of working through one or two more of these before the end of the month. Then here you've got my reading blog. So I kept the same like a layered abstract background pattern motif happening at the back. I used some Crayola super tips and then a white acrylograph to kind of make this white outline in between the shapes because I thought that gave it a bit more definition. Some stickers for decoration and then a header sticker for my reading log. And then I just put the same table. Unknowingly, I think that my color palette for April and May are almost exactly the same. The only reason it looks different is because I used I used this pink and this blue a ton. So I actually had to buy a new Crayola Super Tip set because in this setup, the pink and the blue were both running out of ink. So they're more vibrant here because they're newer. And then I swapped out this Crayola Super Tip for a purple mild liner because I wanted a slightly paler purple. Otherwise, I accidentally did almost the exact same color palette. So I'm really excited for June. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be a dramatically different color palette. Then from here, we've got my weekly kind of check-in pages. So in April, they look like this. And in March, I did this simple horizontal style. And so for May, I wanted to try something a little different. So I made these boxes with rounded edges and then colored them in and we'll just write on top of them. I really love how these pages came out. I am excited to use them. Every day doesn't have exactly the same amount of space. I didn't even try. I just kind of eyeballed it, but I think it will be okay. Like this is just a reading snapshot for each day. So I did that. This sticker takes up a bit too much space. I kind of regret it a little bit, but that's okay. Then we've got my day's red spread and I experimented with a tracker here. So I've been doing just a box calendar that I color in. I decided to do this starburst situation around this like planet sticker where I put the sleeping dinosaur on it and I numbered the days. And then I have a key for if I read a book by myself, a book with my boyfriend, or if I read both types of books. So I did whatever reading from the book I'm reading on my own and reading with my boyfriend just to see kind of when I get in time for the books that I want to read versus when I get in time for the books that we're reading together and then occasionally when we don't read at all. So I like that it's, what's it looking like for April? So it's looking like this so far, a lot of reading, but that's what I do. And then here I've got this page to put just like the cover and maybe a little description of my favorite book of the month. So I've got a header and then this little scene that I built with a sticker of a piano that I put a dinosaur sleeping on top of. I really liked that. I thought that was fun. And then this wrap up spread. So this is super different. I used this vertical banner sticker from Planning with Kay's kit. Then up here I have the spaces for the books. I usually don't have this many spaces. I messed up <laughs> because this is narrower because of this header. I meant to have two lines per book for like longer book titles, but I accidentally started to draw in my lines one at a time. And when I remembered, I was like, no, but it was too late. So I'm just leaving it like that. Then down here, I have a space to keep track of my pages read. This is always fun. I use a line graph, which like isn't technically <laughs> the right kind of graph type. If you've studied graphs, you know, like line graphs, bar graphs, pie charts, they have their uses for the kind of data that they represent. And really the most ideal situation for pages read by day, I think would be a bar graph, but the most appropriate data representation. However, I put two days per little square and that's just not enough space to draw a whole bar. It's much easier to draw a dot. So I use the line graph. The statistician in me kind of bulks a little. I don't really think it's a good representation, but that's fine. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It just it bothers me a little bit. 
So there's that. I add the axes in later, like maybe halfway through the month, so I can get a sense for what my reading is like. If I've read about my usual, then I have this go from 0 to like 250 or so. 200-ish pages is like a really good reading day. If it's a super busy month, then I probably won't do more than like 100 a day, so this axis gets filled in towards the last half of the month. But then I just decided to add this decorative quote page. This was a printable from Playing With Keys Patreon. So I decided to put that there just to balance out the spread, keep it in theme. And then I had an extra sticker, so I just added that up at the top. And then I've left some pages blank. So this is where I'm going to put my April Fairy Loot stuff. And I started to do that for my March Fairy Loot that I received in April. And this is what it looked like. So I pasted in the theme art on one side and then a picture with the stuff that I got in the box and then a little blurb of what I thought and what I felt about the box. And I want to do the same thing for April here, but there's not really any setup to be done with these pages. So I just left them as is. Then here I left two pages to create a spread for the book that I got in March, <laughs> the March book. That I plan to read in May, right? Because I received the book in April. I have all the things that I'm reading in April, so I'm going to try to prioritize it in May. And I left two pages because I started to do this for this golden flame. And I didn't really know how I wanted to do it, so it's kind of on two pages. But basically, I want to have a page for the character art that comes in the book, a little snippet for the read-along calendar. Oh, also the read-along usually happens in the following month, so that's why I put it in may instead of in april the read-along calendar and then on the other side my review and decoration kind of spread so the march book was called the bright and the pale and i've left two pages for that and from there we just get into book journaling pages so i left one two three four five six six pages for that before I start to plan out June. So I think that will be enough. May is going to be pretty busy. We're nearing the end of the school year. I don't anticipate reading more than six books. That's like a lot. So yeah, this is my setup for May. I'm very excited to use it. I love these stickers. I love the color palette and I think it's going to be a good time. I'm really enjoying this notebook. So that's what's going on here. My next video will be a setup video. You'll actually get to see me set it up. I won't let myself get so frustrated that I, I turn off the camera. So look out for that coming sometime later in May because I actually want to try to get these up before the month they are for. So we'll see how that goes. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.